Hello, everybody, and welcome to Danica Marie and our dope discussions. Today, you all, we will be discussing the glow up that a man has after the woman that thought that she could upgrade from him leaves. Before we get started, you all, y'all go ahead and take this time out to like the video, share the video, subscribe, and most importantly, make sure that you all are hitting that notification bell. That way you can be alerted for future dope discussions. Now, let's just go ahead and get right into this, all right, because it's a lot that we have to unpack, all right? A lot of women out there have it in their minds that they are hot ish right they are the baddest i can always elevate i can always do better than what i have i can always upgrade i can always replace and sometimes i'm going to go ahead and say a lot of the times that's just not true you know especially as it pertains to the men that these women are with these women already have great men that they are married to that they are settled down with that they have their families with but when they are around a lot of these city girls right which are the women that are in their friends groups that tell them oh girl you need to be wild you need to be free you need to be able to live your best life you shouldn't have to be tied down to a man you shouldn't have to be catering to a man this is your life you live your life how you want to live it and then before you know it you've thrown away everything trying to live up to the very unrealistic expectations of these city girls or these hot girls or these boss bitches or these you know just strong independent females and you had a good thing where you were was where you needed to be but do we think that do we feel that no and before you know it you're throwing away something great all because you were trying to fit in with females that ultimately did not have your best interest at heart you all today we will be talking about corey hardrick and tia mari okay and i hope that i'm saying that brother's last name correctly if i'm not sorry but i'm just gonna call him corey because i don't know how to say his last name okay um but yeah tia mari thought that the grass would be greener on the other side without corey and come to find out it's not looking that great for her as a matter of fact we're seeing corey with all of the different business opportunities and we're seeing him on the big screens and we're seeing him elevate we're seeing him upgrade we're seeing all of these grand things happen for him and not tia when tia was actually the one that thought that she was graduating from her marriage right see tia you already had everything that you needed but you thought that you could discard of something that was already amazing and get something better and it's looking like you're pretty stuck and stagnant and unfortunately this happens a lot with females especially in today's time because we're always looking at everybody else's life oh look at her she seems to be so free she seems to have so much fun she has all of these guys that's in a rotation she has this going on that going on i want in on it i don't want to be settled down i don't want to be married i don't want to be a housewife i'm tired of being a mama i'm ready to live my best life and get out here in these streets and then you come to realize that the streets is not where it's at i saw this on Tia Mari's Instagram, okay? And y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. We, we have got to share this very cautionary tale, okay? I saw this and let me blow this up for you all. It says, when anyone asks me about my dating life, right? Now, again, just to 
give some background about everything. Tia was married to Corey for pretty much her whole damn life, okay? They got together when they were young, and they built a very beautiful life together. They have beautiful children together. Um, they seem to be very happy. And then all of a sudden, out the blue, you know, Tia just sprung this information on us as far as wanting to graduate from her marriage and, you know, wanting something bigger and better in so many words, right? She went instantly into talking about how she's ready to date because she's never dated before. And, you know, she just wanted to explore this new life outside of being married to Corey, right? And again, seemingly everything was fine with Corey. You never heard Corey... Um, cheating on her rumors. You never heard Corey is disrespectful towards her rumors. You never heard Corey is, you know, intrusive towards her rumors. You never heard Corey, you know, abandons her rumors. You never heard any of that, right? But nonetheless, here's Tia. I want something better. I want something greater. I'm ready to live my life. And you already had a good life. And now that Tia has left her marriage, right, a.k.a. graduated from her marriage, and she's out on the prowl again, it's not looking like, you know, she's having a great time. Tia probably thought that she would be like these city girls and these hot girls. But Tia, you're 40, right? You have two children, right? You're not a spring chicken no more, sis, all right? And no tea, no shade, but Tia is not giving video vixen vibes. I'm sorry, all right? You're not making good. Sorry, Tia. So she probably thought that, you know, I would be able to go out here and live my best life, be wild and free, because after all, you know, this is what my girlfriends was, was telling me to do. And after all, I'm seeing all of my girlfriends do this and do that, and they're older. So let me do it too. And it's not looking that promising for Tia. You should have stayed where you were. Because while you thought that you were going to upgrade, it was actually your husband that was upgrading. But we're going to get into that later. See, ladies, what happens when you try to leave your man thinking that the grass was greener on the other side for you, but in all actuality, the grass ended up being greener on the other side for the man that you left? Now he's glowing up. Now he's prospering without you. Let's take a pause for a second. I'm going to play this in a minute. Tia left Corey, right? She went on and on about how she was graduating from her marriage. She was ready to live her life. She's never dated before. She can't wait to go out there and explore and, you know, tend to herself and all of this. But if you pay attention, we've been seeing Corey, which is, Tia's ex-husband, we've been seeing him on TV shows like The Shy, All-American. You know, he's even starring in a new film with Tyler Perry. He has a new film that he's directed that's coming out, I believe, this month. That's in theaters, right? And here we have Tia out here making a bunch of TikTok videos and Instagram videos talking about how much life sucks. What happened to your graduation, Tia? Were you not able to land a job after graduation? Were you not able to, you know, land a career after your graduation? Did you not get the certificate? Did you not get the degrees? What's going on, sis? And like I said, unfortunately, this ends up being the story for a lot of females out there. Y'all end up making the man's life that you left 
greater and better without you. You thought he was the problem. It was you. You thought he was holding you back. Turns out you were holding him back. Whoopsie. But yeah, look at this. Now this is the same chick talking about, you know, I'm I'm upgrading from my marriage and I'm graduating from my marriage and I'm ready to live my best life and tend to myself and this, that, and the third. Look at this. It reads, when anyone asks me about my dating life. It got worse. Yo. But I feel like it's about to get worse off. Oh, oh, it got worse off. Oh, it got worse off. Let's play it again. It's gotten worse for Tia. Again, sis, I thought this was supposed to be your, your, your best life that you're living right now. You don't have a man holding you back no more. You don't have a man that you got to, you know, cater to no more, submit to no more, take care of, tend to no more. No, this is you living your best life, right? So you had a good man, Tia. Now you come to realize, damn, I, I, sh I probably should have stayed. Look at this face. This is the face of I probably should have stayed. I probably should have kept my ass where I was at. Because let's not get it twisted. Corey is a very handsome man. From what we can see, a very successful man. You know, a family man. Takes good care of his children. Again, we never heard any, you know, really bad news or salacious news about how he was treating T or anything of that sort. So, I mean, it was just really no clear, valid reason for Tia to leave. So I'm pretty sure she's feeling all of this right now. But let's take it back. Cause she She's saying that life is getting worse. It ain't better. It, get, it got worse. Yo. But I feel like it's about to get worse off oh, it got worse off it got worse off mm, mm, mm. let's pause and again y'all like the video share the video and subscribe she said it got worse -er. now that is not the sentiments that you expect to hear after a woman tells the world that she's graduating from her marriage you know, graduation means, you know, elevating. You've surpassed this level. You're going to bigger and better things, correct? So this is just not the news that we anticipated hearing from Tia. But this is what she's on. Let's continue. And again, y'all like the video. Check this out. Oh my gosh. This is just cringe. I don't know if y'all saw that, but Tia is pretty much saying, you know, the 40s is the new 20s. And so she's walking into it like, yeah, time to get it. Time to live my best life. But Tia, you're not living your best life though. See, this was the problem. The problem was People were out here lying to Tia, hyping her up, making her seem like she was missing out on the best time of her life. She had people out here telling her, oh, yeah, girl, you don't need to be settled down. You don't need to be married. You don't need to be no housewife. You don't need to be out here catering to no man, submitting to no man, loving on no man. Uh-uh. This right here, this is where it's at. The 40s are the new 20s, sweetheart. And you, ma'am, are missing out on living your new 20s. Let's peep the game, you all. Tia had been with her husband for a very long time. Like I said, pretty much her whole damn life. So in her mind, she probably did have it to where she felt like, I missed out. I didn't get a chance to live. All of my 20s, I was married. All of my 30s, I was married. You know what I mean? So she probably did 
really feed into the whole notion of I'm missing out on living my life. I need to elevate and graduate from this. So now when we see Tia coming through, doing cringy ish, like, you know, this, the forties is the new twenties, you know? Uh, so let's get it. Uh, that tells me all I need to know as far as her thought process. That tells me all I need to know as far as her being tricked out of her spot. Tia is now trying to fake it until she makes it. That's what we are witnessing now. We are now witnessing Tia trying to fake it until she makes it because she's realized that, yeah, I messed up. I should have stayed where I was at. This is this is just wicked. I'm pretty sure that Tia has been going on numerous dates. Tia has been, you know, trying to live her hot girl, city girl life. And she's coming to realize, damn, like, these men are nothing like my husband. Nothing like what I already had. This is trash. And let's not get it twisted. Also, you all, when it comes to a lot of women out there, we can be extremely uh, emotional, extremely um What's the word I'm looking for? Impulsive when it comes to dating. And so we will have a whole bunch of different guys, even around our children. We'll have a whole bunch of different guys that we feel like we're in love with and all of that. And I'm pretty sure that is why Tia and Corey came to this agreement right here that I'm getting ready to share with you all. All right. Because again, Tia is already feeling like she's missing out. So what she wants to do is get in as many dates as she can. She's trying to go out as much as she can. She's trying to explore and experience different guys as much as she can. And so I'm pretty sure Corey was like, okay, I know and I see what type of time that you are on. So yeah, we're going to have to have some rules and regulations and stipulations when it comes to you dating. I came across this right here, you all. And this article is talking about how Tia and Corey um, set dating rules on future partners, because I'm pretty sure that Corey, being a logical, sounded mind man that he is, understands that when it comes to women like i said we can be very emotional very impulsive and we'll just have any and everybody running in and out of our house have our children around people that we barely even know and so since he knows and understands this they have to come to an agreement like look you can't be doing that and i salute that and i respect that it says Tia Mori and Corey Hardrick are being very cautious when introducing future partners to their two children. The two share a daughter, Carol, that is five, and a son, Cree, that is 11. And as they finalize their divorce, they are making sure that romantic partners are to not meet their children for at least six months. It says, absent agreement to the contrary, each party is restrained from introducing the minor children to a new romantic partner until that party has been in an exclusive relationship with the romantic partner for at least six months. The documents read, obtained by people. It says, each party is further restrained from permitting his or her new romantic partner from spending overnights with the minor children are with the custodial parent during the first six months of the exclusive relationship. The parties agree that the restraints set forth in this paragraph are in the best interest of the children. And yeah, I, I don't disagree with that. I think that that is 
a great rule to have in place, especially considering the fact that, like I said, I'm just being honest as a woman. All right. I know how we can be. I know how we are. We fall in love like that. You know what I'm saying? Or we feel like somebody is feeling us like that. And we are very open, very trusting. And before you know it, we have a whole bunch of different guys in and out of our house, in and out around our children. And it's just, that cannot be a safe thing. All right. You got to be able to protect the, the children. And so I'm pretty sure that Corey was the one to set that in motion and set that in place. I'm pretty sure. Right. Um, now, I'm not going to say that Tia would be opposed to that because let's also be honest and say this. When it comes to us women, especially when we are able to see that the man that we left is blowing up and doing better without us, we can become very emotional and very jealous if we happen to see that man with a new romantic interest. You know, if that woman that he's with is a very beautiful woman or maybe the children take a very good liking to that, you know, lady, we can get in our feelings about that. You know, so I'm pretty sure, you know, Tia has no problem with that as well as far as implementing that rule on his behalf. Because, yeah, you know, I don't want a new love interest around my children and then they just may happen to like that woman and then you know y'all are one big happy family without me i don't want i don't want to see that so i'm pretty sure she would co-sign that however in my heart of hearts i'm pretty sure that Corey was the one that had to actually put that out there especially considering how thirsty Tia was coming off as far as wanting to hurry up and experience different things outside of her, her marriage. Let's be honest. Tia could not wait to hurry up and graduate. She had her cap and gown and everything. Just could not wait. Wait for that damn diploma and did nothing with it. Did absolutely nothing with it. Y'all saw what she had going on. It got worse, right? What what did she say? It get it got worse. Yeah. But I feel like it's about to get worse off. Oh, yeah. It got worse off. It got worse off. So yeah, I mean, I just really hate the fact that when it comes to you know having a great man in our life, we will completely discard of him, thinking that we can do better. In all actuality, we don't, and then we end up regretting and realizing much later. You know, or very soon afterwards that, yeah, I should have stayed. Because, again, Corey will have no problem finding a better tier. And I, I mean that with no, no shade. I mean no disrespect. I'm just being honest. Okay? And, again, y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. I'm trying to watch my, my words because I don't want to come off disrespectful and heartless, all right? Contrary to popular belief, Danica has a heart, okay? I don't like to be rude, but I got to be real, right? Corey could have replaced Tia 100 times over, okay? Corey could have left her and upgraded from her a hundred times over. But he didn't. He was very loyal to her. And in a lot of instances, men are like that, especially with the women that help them to, you know, get to where they are. Again, contrary to popular belief. They love to paint this narrative of, you know, these men, as soon as they get put on and as soon as they're doing good in life, they leave you. They cheat on you. They abandon you. They disrespect you and all of this. And that doesn't happen. A lot of the times when a woman is there from the start with a man, that man sees great value in her. He respects her. He cherishes her. And he appreciates 
you know, the sacrifice, the love, the support that she was able to give into him. So it's not this thing to where men are just like, yeah, I'm just going to use her and then graduate from her. That No, that doesn't happen a lot of the time. But when it comes to women, we do that. Especially when we see a lot of our ain't-ish girlfriends out here in the streets doing who knows what with who knows who, telling us a bunch of lies as far as what we need to be doing and we need to be like them and, you know, we're being boring and we're settling and all of this. And then, like, you end up just, again, worser, as Tia said. You had a good thing. And like I said, Corey could have been ditched to you. He didn't. He didn't. And that spoke to how much he loved her, how much he cared about her. And I'm pretty sure he still loves her and still cares about her, which is why, you know, we don't see him out here flaunting around with a bunch of different females or going on his Instagram talking about how, you know, he's dating and he's living his best life. No, all we see Corey doing is working. We don't even see him mention anything about women in relationships and dating, but that's all we see from Tia. And I'm pretty sure that Tia will continue to be out here with these very cringy, I might add, uh, TikTok videos and Instagram videos because she has to let everybody know that, hey, I am actively dating. I'm not having a good time. And what her intention is, is to get other men's attention to let them come through and try to show her a better time with the dating scene right so if i continue to put out a bunch of content or a bunch of videos talking about how dating sucks and you know i just really don't like it that is supposed to get other men's attention to say oh, okay well she's not having a good time let me show her a good time you know Oh, she's dating? Oh, okay, good to know. She's looking for a romantic partner. I can be that romantic partner. But I don't think that it's working for Tia. Because again, nobody is really checking for Tia like that. Tia gives me corny, awkward auntie vibes, right? She doesn't give, once again, that hot uh, video vixen, you know, model-esque. Like, she doesn't have that energy. She doesn't have that sex appeal that she thinks that she has, which is why she should have stayed with Corey because at least, you know, he valued her and he loved her enough to not even view her in that type of lens to where it's like, you know what, I only want to see you as, you know, this sexual icon. Like, you can tell that the love was much deeper for Corey than just that, which is why he was with her for so long. You know? So, Tia, this was not the move. And again, unfortunately, a lot of women out there will have this experience. They will have this fate of having to realize that the grass was not greener on the other side. The men that they were with was not the problem. They were. And she was actually holding him back and not the other way around so yeah congratulations ladies y'all want to continue to play yourselves by giving away and giving up these very you know amazing husbands amazing fathers these amazing life partners you know handsome men well-to-do men productive men y'all want to continue to fumble them and think that you can upgrade and, and get something better and yeah it's not looking too promising for y'all. Please stop doing this, ladies. Please stop. It's not a good look. Because I'm going to tell y'all right now, those same females that were trying to convince you to go out there and live your best life and not be tied down and not be settled down and all of that, they would die to have the man that you supposedly upgraded from. 
they would kill to have the same husband, the same father for their child or their children that you graduated from. So be careful. And like I said, this happens a lot of the times. We keep getting tricked out of our spots. Don't believe me? Let's take a poll. And y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe to some real talk. Let me show them. Now, I don't know what the outcome of this poll will be, but I guarantee you that a lot of guys have experienced this. All right. I want you all, the fellas in the chat right now, I want you all to place a two in the chat if you've ever experienced a similar situation to where a woman left you and thought that the grass is going to be green on the other side and then it wasn't and then you actually started to evolve grow elevate and graduate and upgrade without her put a two put a one in the chat if you've never had this experience but i bet we see a bunch of twos i bet it was a lot of guys out there that were very committed to their woman, held their woman down, you know, loved on her, was devoted to her the whole nine. And then for whatever reason, she thought that she could leave him and that her life would start flourishing without him. And that didn't happen. Instead, he started flourishing without her. Let me see the two. I bet we see it. And do y'all know how many of those same women try to come running back? And let me also say this. I would bet that Tia is also putting out these very cringe TikTok videos and Instagram videos talking about how the dating life sucks and all of that. Not only to get the attention of other men, right? Because she's desperate, all right? Clearly. But I would not be surprised if Tia is also putting out these videos in order to get Corey's attention. Maybe she's trying to drop subtle clues and hints to him that, hey, baby, this sucks. I think I kind of want you back. But the thing is, and this is where it can get very unfortunate. The thing is. Sometimes when you end up leaving these guys that you thought that life would be better without, they end up finding out that life is actually better without you. And they like their newfound freedom. They like th the different women that they are able to, you know, talk to and entertain and sleep with and party with and get to know. Like they like the, the new life that you are able to live without having to be tied down to one woman. And so they don't want they don't want to come back. They don't want you back. So be very aware that that can also happen too, ladies. You're trying to ditch him and you're trying to get rid of him, thinking that you're going to just flourish without him. Then that doesn't happen. And then you want him back. And then he doesn't want you back, even though you are the one to initiate the breakup. So I just thought that I would come on here and let you all know that unfortunately, you know, this can happen. This can happen to where, you know, the man that you left glows up without you and there's really nothing you can do about it. But sit there in your misery and regret and, and just have to bear witness to your decisions. Deal with it, All right? But I love y'all. I respect y'all. I'll see y'all in the next dope discussion. Again, make sure that you all are liking the videos, sharing the videos, subscribe to the channel, and I'm going to see you all later. All right. Much love and peace to my crown head.